to the North Pole of Mars, kind of up in the Arctic Circle area. Uh, we're, we're in an area where the sun doesn't get very high in the sky, where the summer isn't very long, and it's that type of environment that actually fosters what we're going to study. It's believed from Mars Odyssey data that there is water ice, or frozen ice, uh, near the pole of Mars that we can actually go down with our robotic arm and sample directly. In the North Polar region, outside of the polar caps that we see, there actually is maybe up to 80% you know, water in the top meter of the soil. So our job is to dig deep, not to drive out like some of the rovers have done in the past. And so we have the robotic arm with its scoop on board our spacecraft to sample the dirt on the top and dig down and sample the ice and deliver those to the onboard experiments. We're hoping that we can learn more about the long-term climate of Mars by looking at the ice. We're hoping to understand more about the polar regions of Mars, which is a place we've never gone to. And finally, we're really interested in looking for a habitable zone, a place where life might have existed in the past. If you get to a place where there's ice, for instance, you wonder if over time the climate could have changed to the point where that ice melted. Now if you have liquid water and you have soil and you have sunlight, you've got a lot of the ingredients, not all, but a lot of the ingredients that can lead to a place where life could actually take a foothold. And we call that the habitability of the soil. Now whether life actually did take that foothold and whether the one place we land actually contains that life is a different question. So this is not an easy search and our goals are a little more limited than we must find life. We will find if that zone is habitable. And if it is, then we would suggest to the community this is a good place to go and look for life. I'm very excited about Phoenix. I came from the Mars Exploration Rovers and that was a very different kind of mission. MER was all about driving, about roving, about going up to rocks and grinding through them. The science that Phoenix needs to do is a very different type of science. I think of uh, MER as the scratch and sniff mission, whereas uh, Phoenix is really the, the grab and eat mission. Um, we have science instruments that are designed to ingest soil, uh, and it gives you really a kind of a laboratory class knowledge of the surface of Mars, which is something that MER, with the instruments that it had, wasn't able to do. So while Phoenix has its limitations in terms of mobility uh, and where we'll be able to go to, uh, it's an entirely different type of science. With us now is the principal investigator and project lead for Phoenix, Peter Smith of the University of Arizona. Peter, tell us a little bit about where we're going. We're going to Mars, Gabe. <laughs> I know. We're uh, actually 